Okay, so what we can start seeing happening now is you can see all the red along the top. The little white squares above it are actually the temperature of the bottom of the long one where it's dissipating heat. And the red bit itself is the amount of amps. And if you have a look on the left hand side of the scale, it's got the amps. So it's doing, you know, 1.1 amps maximum. It's a red lettering up the top. And on the right hand side, it's got the scale for the temperature. There we go, as we can see it's just dropped down to th uh, drawing three quarters of an amp from the battery and shortly it should pop back up to about one amp again. That's basically the charge controller deciding that the batteries are fully charged. The long ones will now continue to drop the voltage to the pre-configured setting of 4.11 volts. So anything higher than that, it'll, it'll burn off energy as heat until it, until it becomes balanced. Once all the cells have reached a pre-configured value, the extra bypass mode will activate. And that's what you're looking at now. And basically with the active bypass mode, it's completely configurable. And it will now work to take all of the cells to the lowest voltage cell. So in this case, it'll take it from 4.11 down to 4.9. And it'll do that by burning off X amount of um, energy as heat and then almost on cue the solar kicks back in again throws a few amps at the batteries and tries cranking them back up again so unfortunately the charge controller within the pip um, it's not real quick to react it takes a few minutes to actually go up and then come back down again so the voltage got to 57.6 volts there and now all the long ones are kicking back in fighting against it anyway tubers i hope you like this one any questions ask them below like thumbs up hate thumbs down and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.